Holly Goli from Me Natasha Sharma of Foodspeak. Holi is that time of the year where we Indians get wet, wild and multi-hued. We burn away all the bad of the year before and wash it all away so we can start fresh. Normally, when we come home in the evenings, we end up ordering in. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a very delicious mutton that you can prepare ahead and come home on Holi, just heat it up. Along with that, I'll show you a 10 minute khichdi that you can eat instead of plain rice that will make the mutton just pop. To make this mutton, you need two large onions or four small ones, three red ripe tomatoes, fresh green chilies, 750 grams of mutton, garlic paste, two teaspoons, and you need your spices, which is one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of red chilli powder, two teaspoon of meat masala, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, and lots and lots of garam masala powder. I've taken three tablespoons of garam masala powder. So I'm gonna start by making a tomato paste using these lovely red fresh tomatoes and the green chilies. So starting by quartering and coring the tomatoes and putting them in a blender and simply whizzing them all up. You can just halve the green chilies. They're just gonna get whizzed up anyway. We core the tomatoes, as I've said previously, because a little known fact is that there is salmonella to be found in the green part of the tomato. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to thinly slice the onions. lugs of oil so it just covers the base of the pan. Heat it and then add the onions. So now add the onions. You want to, lovely sizzle. You want to cook these now till they're dark brown. To hasten the cooking process, it's a good idea to add a little bit of salt, but very little, only for the onions. We don't want to salt the dish right now. So just add a little salt. Fry this till they're almost dark brown. The onions are beginning to turn brown, so they're almost done. So this is the stage, just before they're done, to add the two teaspoons of garlic paste. Give it a nice mix, and let that cook down till the onions are brown. So the onions are ready, it's time to add the mutton and fry it. Make sure the pieces of mutton are nicely coated in the oil and let that fry off for a couple of minutes. So now it's time to add the spices. Add the one teaspoon of turmeric powder, two teaspoons of coriander powder, red chili powder, meat masala, and lots of garam masala powder. Give it a nice mix and let that cook for about five minutes. As the mutton begins to brown, little by little add the tomato paste. Little bit more tomato. Give it a nice mix. I'm adding all the rest of the tomato. The last bit. For the, the water for the gravy, I'm just gonna use to clean out the blender. Add it to the mutton. Give it a nice stir. Seal the lid and let it cook for about three to four whistles. So it's been three whistles, let's check. Mmm, that smells nice. The right consistency of gravy. So I've taken a mixture of boneless pieces and uh, curry cut. This is because the bones give it a lovely flavor, whereas the boneless pieces give it volume. Now I'm going to add salt to taste and adjust accordingly when we check next time. Yeah. 
Okay, that is lovely. So it's done. How easily it's breaking apart. Let's give it a little taste for salt. Mmm. Mmm. That's perfect. Cover it and set aside till you're ready to eat. Garnish with some fresh coriander and enjoy. whatever quantity of rice and half that of the red lentils. So I have taken one cup rice and half cup red lentils. They both have been washed and rinsed and they're ready to make. Because it's quick and easy, I'm going to be making it in a pressure cooker. Add the rice, the lentils. Another way that you could do this is combine the rice and lentils together and then wash them and then add them directly to the cooker. Now I need double the quantity of water, so of course I'll use one and a half, so I'll be adding three cups of water. So three cups of water. So now for the spices, you simply add a little bit of turmeric that will give it a yellow colour. It's optional, if you don't want it yellow colour, just don't add the turmeric. Some red chilli powder and salt. Give it a nice mix. Depending on your cooker, give it two to three whistles. Then switch off the heat and let it continue cooking in the balanced steam. It's been 10 minutes, let's check. Oh wow. Lovely fluffy grains. Ready to serve. Garnish with some ghee, with clarified butter. And this is pure heaven. Mmm, have yourselves a happy holy. Take lots of pictures. Tag me on Instagram at foodspeak.in. If you haven't already, do subscribe, hit the bell icon and leave your comments. I'll see you next time, my lovelies.